Before we start talking about what Node is and why it's useful, which I'm sure you are wondering, we're going to go ahead and install Node on your machine because in the next couple videos, as I aim to answer those questions, we're going to want to run a little bit of Node code. Now to get started in this video, we just need two programs, a browser, I'm going to be using Chrome throughout the course, but any browser will do, and the terminal sometimes known as the command line on Linux or the command prompt on Windows. Let's go ahead and open that up right now. I'm going to use Spotlight to open up the terminal, which is what it's known as on my operating system. If you're on Windows, look for something like the command prompt. You can search using the Windows key and then by typing. And on Linux, you're looking for something called the command line. Although depending on your distribution, it might be called the terminal or command prompt. Now, once you have that program open, you're going to see something a little daunting. It's a screen. Yours probably has a black background with white text. And essentially, it's waiting for you to run a command. We're going to be running quite a few commands from the terminal throughout the course. And in around four or five videos, I'm going to give you a crash course. So if you've never used this before, you can start navigating comfortably. But for now, you don't need to worry about any of that. We're not going to run any commands for the moment. In the browser, we can head over to nodejs.org to grab the installer for the latest version of Node. In this course, we're going to be using the most recent version, version 6.2.2. It is important that you install a v6 version of Node.js. It doesn't have to be 2.2, it could be 1.0, but it is important it's on that v6 branch because there is a ton of new features that come along with v6 including all of the features you might have come to love in the browser using ES6. This is the next version of JavaScript and it comes with a lot of great enhancements we're going to be using throughout the course. Hey, what's going on? It's Andrew from the future with a quick update. If you head over to nodejs.org, you're going to see something slightly different from what I'm showing you in the video, the original one. On the left hand side, you're going to see v8 as an option to download. And on the right hand side, you're going to see v9. Now this course was updated to support all of the versions that have come out since. So there was an update for v8 about six months ago, and I've just updated the course for v9. So what I'd like you to do is actually install and use v9. That's going to make sure you can actually continue throughout the entire course without any interruptions since we do use some features that are only available in newer node versions. All right, that is it for this one. Just go ahead and install v9 and you're going to be able to continue on without any trouble. Let's go ahead and jump back in to the original video. For now though, all we have to do is click this button. It downloads the installer and the installer is one of those basic click next a few times and you're done type of installers. There's no need to run any fancy commands. I'm going to go ahead and start the installer. Here, it's just going to ask me a few questions. Go ahead and click next or continue through all of them. You might want to specify a custom destination, but if you don't know what that means and you don't usually do it when installing programs, go ahead and skip that step too. Here I can see I'm using just 47 megabytes, no problem. I'm going to go ahead and run the installer by entering my password. And once I enter my password, it should really only take a couple of seconds to get Node installed. And here you go. We have a message that says the installation was completed successfully, which means we are good to go. Now that Node has been installed successfully, we can go ahead and verify that by running it from the terminal. Over inside of the terminal, I'm going to actually shut it down by going to quit terminal and open it up again. The reason I'm opening it up is because we've installed a new command and some terminals require a restart before it's going to be able to run that new command. In our case, we've restarted things and we can run our brand new command. We're going to type it out just like this. Node space hyphen V. What we're doing here is we're running the node command and we're passing it what's called a flag. This is a hyphen sign followed by a letter. It could be A, it could be J, or in our case, it's V. This is going to print the version of node currently installed. We might get an error like this. If you try to run a command that doesn't exist, like NOD ASDF, you'll see command not found. If you see that, it usually means the node installer didn't work correctly or you haven't ran it in the first place. In our case though, running node 
with the V flag should result in a number. In our case, it's version 6.2.2. Once again, make sure that you have a V6 version of Node installed, otherwise a lot of the videos throughout the course just aren't going to work. If you do have Node installed and you're seeing something like what I see here, then you are done. I'll see you next time where we start exploring exactly what Node is. Stay tuned, I will see you then.